Hi, I'm Mike, and this is my 2014 Honda Accord Sport. So let's check it out. because uh, I didn't prepare very well for this. My car is filthy. So that's where we're headed now. Ew. All right, we've actually been driving around for like probably an hour, hour and a half looking for a good spot to film this. So subscribe, like, comment, share, do whatever you need to. Please. So this is a pretty standard car. You see it on the road all the time. There's probably a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, probably don't need to go through it, but we're going to anyways. I've kept this car mostly stock, except for my uh, kind of not the best cosmetic features. I wrapped the headlights and the fog lights with the uh, nice blue reflective. Uh, I have tints going on the passenger windows, the uh, rear windows and the rear windshield. And then also if you come to the back, you can see I got the uh, taillights tinted and they look pretty dark, but they're actually kind of bright. The light shines through and we're not going to talk about these two patches here. Um, <laughs> I made a spoiler and then tried to mount it and then realized I didn't want the spoiler on there because it looked too ricey. So I tried patching this with the paint and Bondo and it looks like garbage. So I just threw this on here for now. We'll just gloss over that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, don't worry about that. Um, and then I was in an accident in this thing, and they thought my road rash on this was because of the accident. They thought the road rash was because of the accident, <laughs> so they repaired this rim. So this is the one nice rim. The fronts are all bad, I promise it's not from me. Alright, so like I said, this is a very common car you see it on the road a lot. Uh, this is the ninth generation, with the first uh, ninth gen being released in 2013. And the Accord was first produced in 1976, with it being uh, released in 77. And actually, the Accord in the United States was the best-selling car for 16 years until 97. And in 1989, it was the first import car in the United States that became the best-selling car. So, it's very, very, very popular. And a lot of people have these and mod them out. Um, this is my daily, so I'm not gonna... <laughs> this is my daily. So I'm just gonna race it out, basically, is what I'm saying. So this is usually known as like a mid-sized commuter car. So one of my favorite things about this car is actually the trunk. There's a ton of trunk space. It's actually like, it's a lot of freaking trunk space. I got right, there's the stock uh, intake. We'll talk about that later, moving blanket and just a box, little sprays and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is one of the biggest trunks you can get and actually have like usable in the front. So let's talk about the back now, the back seats. You can see, it's plenty of room, as you would expect from a car like this, if you want to get in there. Oh yeah. Pretty standard sedan, comfy seats. Step on my tripod. Yep, that's that's what I do best here. <laughs> I'm chilling in here. So here's Colin, he's like 5'10", like probably. 6'10", he's like, <laughs> like 240 pounds. I'm like a monster back here. He's, a, he's got pretty good, I'm a, I'm a little guy, so my seat's kind of far forward, but... I can take a nap back here. I mean, he's got, yeah, you could take a nap. And these seats fold all the way down and uh, full open into the trunk. So let's go to the front. And I actually really like the look of this interior. This is the sport trim, so you're not going to find on uh, all of these, but they have the little textured carbon black pattern. Oh, yeah. I don't know exactly what it is. So you got this uh, textured black pattern. It goes on the doors. You got it right there. You got it here. Uh, this door. And just looking at the center console, it's pretty standard i really like on the uh the this is a manual by the way oh this yeah is a manual. i like on the sport manual versions it has this uh gauge cluster it looks pretty nice um standard radio setup you got your six uh buttons you can set for presets heat ac everything is down here nice flip up you can keep stuff in there keep a phone tray it's got an outlet there and here Got your manual, six speed, 411 gearing. I think 410 or 411. Uh, so just go over a little bit of tech of this car. 
you got your Honda load up right there. And then this message pops up for like 10 minutes, so you gotta hit okay. And it is, blue oh, actually turn my Bluetooth off. So it automatically connects, it takes like maybe 10 to 20 seconds, so I turned it off before so the audio didn't connect and get weird. Um, really cool about this car, and it's really weird because you can see this like blue texture. You can go into settings and like change the colors or whatever, but what you can, it only offers blue, green, orange, and red, but for some reason you can set custom wallpapers. Oh, Whoa. look at that. And I just came with the car like I that? I came with the car like this. That's insane. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. How'd they know? Um, yeah, it's weird. They don't show like pictures of the albums or anything they're playing. It's just all, it's all, it's all blue and white and stuff, but you can set like custom colored wallpapers and stuff, even though that was just black and gray. Not a good example. Um, good sound quality overall. Uh, heat in the air is great. I really don't have any complaints about it. <laughs> So you want to pop the hood, check it out? Yeah, let's check out the stock engine. All right. Woo! <coughs> she got VTEC in her. All right. Why is it sideways? Uh, because it, uh, <laughs> it is that way. <laughs> it's, it's, it's this way because this is the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so if you come over here with the camera, you can see there's something kind of missing. There's no intake. And I took that off um, because I'm going to be designing my own custom intake. I'm going to reroute this to the trunk and then it's just going to come straight. The way that the stock air intake is, is it's a little mounted thing here and it comes straight down into a intake resonator and then back up. So just for efficiency's sake, I want to put it just straight through. So this is a 2.4 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine. And whenever I'm talking to somebody about their builds, you know, they got cool like Evo or something like that. They're like, what do you drive? Oh, 2014 Accord Sport. Like, oh, like the, the, the V6, right? I'm like, no. They're like, oh, okay, turbo. I'm like, no. And then it's, you know, it's over. Um, so you can see here, Earth Dreams Technology, iVTEC. So it has VTEC. I'm sure everybody probably knows what VTEC is. But Earth Dreams Technology is an engine that was, uh, Modified a little bit to increase fuel efficiency with uh, DOHC and like timing and stuff. I don't know exactly. Um, let's start it up. All right. All right, so it is six-speed manual. Uh, there's no lockout on reverse. It's just all the way to the right, except when you hit, I think, five to seven miles per hour, it locks it out from, so you don't accidentally go all the way over. So it's pretty nice. You don't have to worry about pulling up on anything. It just automatically does it. Let's go for a little drive all here. Right. And I think it is, it's either 410 or 411 gearing. My, my apologies for not knowing. So and then the doors automatically lock at seven miles an hour. It's a little bumpy. Yeah, it's a little bumpy, bumpy road. <laughs> <That's> so stupid. <laughs> uh, blinkers, lights, everything is your left stick on the column, and your right are your wipers. Uh, you got nice little sun visors. I don't really need it because of this guy. This actually doesn't come with the car. This is an add-on from the factory. It's uh, $400. Wow. Yeah, I, I ball out. Nice uh, sunglasses containers there. <laughs> quick. No, quick, it didn't laugh. Quick don't laugh. Eject. That was kind of cool. Quick eject. <laughs> yeah, quick eject. And it does, I mean, it's just, it's just a Honda. That's all there really is to it. That's all you can really say about this car. It's just a Honda. It drives smooth. It's quiet. Um, it shifts like a dream. Uh, there's a little bit of play in the stick right here. You can see I'm, I'm in gear right now, but there's a little bit of play. I would like if it wasn't as loose, I guess. So, uh, stock from the factory, these cars came in at about 32 to 3,300 pounds. Uh, this model, the Sport Trim's 2.4 liter, um, they had 189 horsepower and 182 torque units. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's kind of just like any manual car. Um, if you drop it down enough gears, it'll have good go. But I like to think it's kind of jumpy for what it is. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing what? Like 320 miles an hour right now? 340. Oh, okay. 340 at least. The, the, the gauge broke. It's 340 at least. Okay. One more thing. Bam! Reverse camera. <laughs> so if you're new to driving stick or you want to learn, these are great cars to learn on. It's kind of hard to find the manuals, but the clutch is just feather light and it shifts so smooth. So it's just also you're never going to be able to stall it. Yeah. Also, you're never going to be able to stall it. Thanks for joining me in my walk around in my 2014 Honda Accord Sport. Let us know in the comments what car you want to see us walk around next. See ya.